Hello, hello, welcome to another coverage of another match in round one. As usual these days, I'm joined by Joe. Hello, Joe. Hello, hello. You are right? Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited good. to cover uh, another match. It's good fun so far. I've been enjoying it. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's going to be interesting watching myself today. But uh, yes. other than that, you know. Yes. So we've got a little bit of a weird one today because we're going to be watching Captain Goodspeed's very own match. So obviously, <clears throat> Joe knows the result. He this is his match. Um, so I, I, he's not going to spoil it, but he's going to give us some nope. maybe some guidance on sort of what he was thinking. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, let's let's just kick things off. So. Without further ado, yeah, yeah. so we got Joe representing uh, Mark Allen, and mm -hmm. uh, I believe Mark Allen tweeted you. You tweeted him. He tweeted you. Well, well, yeah, just sort of was was telling everybody who I was representing in the in the tournament, and he said good luck and hopefully I do better than he usually does. So well, let's hope so. Um, let's yeah, hope let's hope so. Let's hope uh, so. You know, uh, not, not saying too much, but hoping hoping that go. Uh, well, you know, do better than first round, hopefully. But, you know, we'll so see. you're playing Nevitz, who's playing as Jack Laz Jack Lazowski. Yeah. And uh, I've played uh, Nevitz a couple of times. Okay. Um, and you know, anybody in this sort of standard can play, but uh, yeah, I think I'm two for one in favour of me in against Nevitz. But yeah, you can mm -hmm. you can take a frame off here, definitely. Yeah, I I played him in a friendly one framer before yeah. this, so a couple of days before this, just as a bit of practice, and um, it was quite a close match. So, um, so yeah, you can see Snook he snookered us on the on the break off, but a nice little layup to the pack there. Off yeah. The so, so for this for this coverage, we only have uh, Joe's <clears throat> uh, angle, so we won't be able to see Nevitt's thinking away. Um, but you know, this is your first frame of the tournament, Joe. Was you nervous at this point? Oh, massively, and uh, well, once this, I suppose, when this video is out, you should be able to see um, the video on my channel, and you'll be able to hear my live commentary on this. So, oh, are you are um, you commentating on this live as you're playing? Yes, as oh. I'm playing, I'm commentating. I didn't live. have the balls to do that. So I didn't um, have the balls to do that. Yeah. But yeah, I was I was pretty damn nervous, uh, to say the least. Yeah, yeah, I think you'll probably hear that in in my voice, but um, <laughs> you know. So you played off the pack there, a uh, bit yeah. of a safety shot, a little bit pacey, but I, bit you know, pacey. just yeah, quite happy to get it get it safe. But that uh, might be a little first time nerves there, mm. a bit of uh, adrenaline going into mm. the the power bar. So Nevitz has got a safety to follow. Mm. Um, and we've talked about the power bar a lot and, and how important it is this tournament it is. Yeah. yeah but uh, it's a shame we haven't got Nevitt's point of view because I, I would have been well that, I mean this frame doesn't exist in, in his footage anyway so. no unfortunately Nevitt's had a little bit of issues um, kind of putting it together mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it recorded it uh, I do have Nevitt's second frame but Due to technicalities, I was going to edit them together, so we have both points of view. But my hard drive decided to have a mare, so we've only got Joe's here, and Joe's playing another safety shot. So, just to remind people, the the power bar on the left here, he's got to get it in the sweet spot, and he does. Well done, Joe. Yeah, I was pretty happy with that safety shot, to be honest. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's a top safety shot. So, so what's next? You can see a, a bit of a cagey opening, and, and those mm -hmm. reds are starting to disperse themselves a little bit. But there's not a um, lot going at the moment. Yeah. So we'll see what Nevitz can do. Now, even though I know the re the result of the match, I, I can't remember the process in between. <laughs> so it is interesting to see what it's happened. But first mistake there. Yeah. From uh, from Nevitz and yeah, that's a costly mistake. I mean, 
it's a potable red, and he's got this one by the pack here, Joe. I say he, it's you. Uh, yes, in the past. it's me, and and you know I, I'm I'm thinking here, you know, which I think I've said in in other matches. When you get a chance like this, what I want to do is get those reds open. So, yes, yeah, you know, with hindsight, agree. play this a bit harder, but I played it with a bit of top and trying to force yeah. me way through the pack a bit. But yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate there. I mean, you've got a pink. Sorry, you've got a yeah. I mean, you you might have a pink, but you've got. Uh, no, you don't have a pink, but you've got a green and you've got a blue. No, you don't have a green. You've only got the blue. Just, just the blue. Just I'm the afraid. Blue and the yellow, so, really. You know, and 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 second shot of the or second pot of the match. I didn't fancy knocking it in particularly. So no, just thinking ahead. Like just just try and knock the blue in, get the cue ball reasonably safe. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. leave a long red on, but. Um, we know what I'm mainly focusing on the pot here. here. So I'd yeah. Assume he'd take this on. Yeah. Yeah. But it does go in, but as you can see, just just ran out of position, and I've got a decision to make here. Do I take that risky red into the left corner, which I think the likes of Rainy Lamb might go for? But yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I I wouldn't. I wouldn't fancy that to be honest. No, I I think if the black was more available, I'd I'd possibly be more tempted but mm -hmm. i just i thought we'd be running into into reds so just look weighing up the safety shots well, but then i don't want to leave this red in the in the middle of the table oh you're so. having a very good look at this one joe <laughs> yeah that's maybe that's a bit risky i don't know what i was necessarily thinking there but mm. um, like you're just going to play off it and then yeah, I, I mean, my thinking there is I don't want to leave that red in the middle of the table for Nevitz to have a go at. So. Oh, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that happened. Yeah, but, I thought you was playing it a little bit too hard, to be honest. But I, I said it live. I said I was quite happy with it going in off because it meant yeah. the cue ball was back to the, the bulk. Yeah. So. yeah, it's not the end of the yeah, world. I'll at this for it. Yeah, not the end of the world. And you're six ahead, so it's not like you've gone yeah. behind, really. Yeah. Yeah. So. But all the points can count. I've often thought, oh, like if you know, when at the end of a frame, you're like, well, uh, one enough won't matter, and then <laughs> you need one snooker or or you you needed one more uh, mm -hmm. red and colour to win. So um, it can it can bite you. Mm -hmm. So so he's put us back in here to to have a go at this. So the more keen eared people might hear my wife play the saxophone in the background uh you know isolation is is hitting us all and she's tooting away on the sax now so yeah you've hit that well there joe yeah i have i've, I've got to say looking back at this i'm, I'm quite happy with the safety play so far yeah, and yeah that's all right there's nothing very happy doing. with that pretty much covered all reds so what might be able to see that one past the blue i don't really know what's nevitt's gonna do here um, then yeah, there is a red, but like you say, I'm not sure if he can see it. No, he's just going to hit the side and come back up. That's a good shot. He looks like he's hit that bang on. Mm, yeah. So again, a, another good safety. And, and actually, looking back at this, the, the safety play from from both of us has been all right so far. Yeah. So. Looks like he's trying to get the cue ball tight yeah, he's, on the cushion. Oh, here. Just hesitating on the power there, but you've hit it again. Sweet as a nut. Again, a little bit too hard, Joe. I yeah, don't know. It's just yeah. I don't know what forty six tends to be a, a little bit too hard on a safety yeah, shot for me. Yeah. And that's something that I've, I've sort of took away from yeah. the, the matches. Slow on the safeties, please. But I, uh, I, I find that with this with Snooker Nineteen, it's like you're always learning something. Like real snooker, mm, you know, the more you play, mm. it, you're like, yeah, I didn't really think of that, or um, yeah. a new way of playing a shot. I think I think it's because on the break off, I've been aiming for about forty six percent, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sort of taking that for all safety shots. But actually, when it's tight against the cushion, you, you're playing it with topspin. But mm. Good long pot from Nevitz there. And yeah, oh, this is a great developed, chance. He's developed the black, so... You must be worried at this point, Joe. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, well, there's at least 40 or 50 points here yeah. before he starts to struggle, so... This is a frame winner, this. My, you know, I think I said it live in commentary at the time, I'm, I'm thinking here that black doesn't go into the left corner pocket, so 
Mm. I'm not feeling too worried at this point until he gets that avail- uh, until he gets rid of that red. So yeah. I'm just hoping he doesn't play for it here. Uh-huh. Um, but Eight. you know, you got to remember, Nevitz will be just as nervous at this point. So he's, he's just wanting true. to get points on the board. So. Yeah, I mean, for me here, I'd probably just roll this red in enough so I can get on the blue, the cheap blue, and then. <laughs> And then come back on the other side of the reds, so I can get the black again. But um, it's it's awkward where the where the the blacks ended up, and you can see he's I'm not sure if he tried to come over to the black there. He probably did. Yeah, I'm, I mean he got away with it a little bit there. He could have mm. crashed into them reds and been on nothing, but he he's okay. Just drop this blue in, leave one of those reds on the the left yeah. hand side. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, I don't know. Still a good chance. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, as I say, until he gets rid of that red on the on the left-hand side, I'm, I'm mm. feeling like he can make a mistake here. So. Yeah. 14, 14. Yeah. Not a lot to do on this red. Just I think I'll just roll it dead white and then get on the black. Mm-hmm. But, and then if you yeah, did... you you're always gonna have the blue as a backup if you just drop this in. So yeah, if he if he lands on the black just right, oh, he screwed it back. Um, if yeah. he if he had landed on the black just right there, he could have stunned it and played that red that's kind of blocking the black on the other side, mm. which mm. would have really opened things up. But yeah, I think if you think in two three shots ahead, that's the shot you play. I think at mm. the moment he's just trying to keep potting them. So yeah. It's whether that pink goes into the left corner. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think um, it does. I don't think it does. Um, so I think it'll be interesting where it spots if it pocket. does. But now he's playing the yellow. So, but so it... how much of this match do you remember here, Joe? N- not not a great deal. I remember some of the shots uh, more than others. But mm. the, I mean, this I've got no recollection of. So no. At this point, um, you're probably just head in hands. Hoping that. <laughs> hoping well, that I he... mean, I've, I've got a bit of hope that his cue ball seems to be running loose around the table. So yeah, yeah. you know, and I have got the the knowledge that I beat him in the one frame friendly. So mm. it's, it's got, but got got a bit of psych, psychological advantage on that. But he's played a lovely shot there. There you go. So that's that's the shot that I was talking about earlier, and he's landed yeah. on that. And all he needs to do is. Stun it and come back a tiny bit, and then he can get rid of that problem red on the yeah. left. Yeah, and just then... just hold the hold the white anywhere around yeah. where the black is. Yeah, now and... yeah, yeah. I'd be, yeah I, at this point, I wouldn't even be too fussed about the brown the black going on the brown spot. So no. Um... So let's see what he does, and he plays it so far back. I mean, he's got another red here, so he's landed very very nicely on that. Twenty-five. Um, yeah, but I'd be looking. I'm, I'm just relieved thing. he's not clearing that red uh, to the left of the black at this point. Yeah, um, I think he might be just getting what he can here. Uh, even though what he played there was m- a much harder shot than what I was asking him to do. <laughs> um, but you know, he's uh, again he's on the black. So he's so far away now that he's going to have to do. And he played reverse spin on that, but I'm not sure why. Yeah, I, I mean, unless he was playing back up for blue or ball colour, but this black is, is not easy, and you're running into reds now, so... Mm. Yeah, he's going to have to run into reds, which might not this be could... a terrible thing, but... It might not be, but it could go wrong, so... Um, that's why they'll be more tempted by the green here. I don't, I don't know. So... We'll see what he does. He's taking his time. He's playing the green. So. Yeah. Well, well, an excellent pot. I don't know. I, 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 again, wonderful, wonderful I just don't think... 29. I think he's made this very hard for himself, this break. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, he's had a couple of opportunities now to get rid of that red, and I think mm. if he had got rid of that red, that he'd be in and around the black every shot. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'm just quite happy at this point that it, that it's only 29 points. So yeah, and he's got to try and knock that red in under the pink now, which isn't 
a gimme. For the left corner here. That's a great shot. shot. That's a great shot. But now he's but now he's got the problem. There you go. So the that problem. black doesn't go, <laughs> and he's not on the pink. So it's gonna. It's the cheap blue. It's a tricky blue though when it's just off straight. These, mm. these aren't easy going that way across the table. I, no. I find I find this angle on the blue more difficult than if the white was the other side of straight. Yeah, it's um, odd though, isn't it? I don't know. That might be yeah. preference or, or or whatever, but uh, yeah, sure. I think potentially just being a right hander with yeah. that shot is is more difficult than mm. a left hander. But here he goes. It. Oh, Ooh, wobbled wow. it. That was close. <laughs> well, yeah. All right, so there you go. Now um, it's time to shine. So here, you must be so relieved at this point. Well, uh, how close that blue was. Uh, yeah. You know, that goes in and, you know, he's yeah. he's got the rest of these. Um, that looks pretty good to me, Joe. What's yeah. your plan here? I don't know. I, I, Power I was, bar's I was, going up and down, up and down. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking if I try and hold for the black, then you know I might not pull Ooh. it off. So I've tried to bring reds into play, and and you have. <laughs> I have done, but I've not left myself the easiest colour, so it's no. going to have to be the long yellow, I think, because yeah. that black's a bit dodgy at this point because the yeah. heart's still pounding because yeah. I've only potted three balls at this point. So just just try and drop the yellow in. Yeah, give myself a chance of the next red. Uh, that's all I'm thinking here. This won't be easy. So and there it is. What a fabulous pop that is! Well, you could have done with bad. a kiss on that green, but could have done. Um, I think I've left it pretty straight on this red, although it's a bit oh, that's... more angle than I thought. So yeah, what are you doing? Rolling it for the black here, or? <sighs> Well, Looking at it now, I think that might have been wise, but I've just stunned it in for the brown. Ah. But then I don't know if this brown goes, yeah, actually. I don't think you checked it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and not on the black, so, yeah, it's oh, all dear. going wrong. It's all going wrong. Oh, no, I don't Can fancy I see... your chances here. No, I'm, no, I'm Joe, look, that guy, <laughs> that guy in the audience was like, no. <laughs> Tried to convince myself, and I uh, thought about a Tommy Triangle swerve, but yeah, yeah, no. Uh, I, but then I looked at this blue. Ooh, and thought, look at this blue. That might be a might be a little wow, a little lifesaver there. That's a cheeky blue. So, this blue on. That's a. So uh, let's just give the pocket every chance. Yeah, is that why you're playing it so light? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and nice then kiss. I panicked because I thought the white was gonna tuck up behind the yellow. So, wow. so I'm just I'm just panicking at this point. I, I, I'm I'm like this cue ball is not running no. sweetly. But it wasn't for Nevitz either, to no. be fair. So, no. you know. But I, I'm looking at the I'm points and thinking, long, but... Christ, I'm only 19 points behind here. Let's yeah. uh, let's let's go a bit. Let's calm down. Yeah, yeah. I think you've you, you're finding your rhythm now. Now it seems like you've got this red. You've got this black. I felt. It, what it does psychologically to just pot a few balls is is massive. So here you've definitely got your mojo back. Although yeah, just just played that a little tentatively. Yeah. I think I think I would have gone off the side cushion there, Joe, just to give yeah. yourself a little bit more chance. So, um, well, but, yeah, you know, this, this is this tough, man. Pocket. Yeah, I'm thinking. You know, if I play it. About this pace, mm. a bit, a bit, try and get a bit further up the table so I don't leave him anything easy. Yeah, um, that's a good shot. Should I have missed it? But yeah, I think the yellow goes, so you'd be all right here. Yeah, if not the Ooh, blue. Oh, the blue, of course, the cheap blue. <laughs> yeah, practice what you preach. I was looking at the yellow as well. I don't know. Yeah, it's just the the angle for the yellow, I suppose, is a little easier to. Judge if you can well, get on the I'm red so, yeah, the blue's the shot here, I suppose. Here. Yeah, he just looks like he's stunning it and just letting it roll forward. What are you doing here? Yeah. Yeah, a bit of a stun run through, I thought. <laughs> Try and get onto one of those reds into the left corner, but just overran it a little. Mm. So yeah. is it the, the rail? Oof. Yeah. <sighs> Again, you know, tricky one. Th this this might be a feature of this match. I, I, <laughs> I tend not to play a safety shot, so you know. 
Just so drop this in, give the pocket every chance. Yeah. You know, I'm not. I'm, I, again, I'm not going to leave anything straightforward if I miss it. So. Mm. Yeah. Um. You know, and I'm only five points behind now, so. Yeah. This is. Uh, you know, not too bad. Yeah, you got to play these dead weight. Down it goes. Just so that gravity takes it, and you played that well. 24. Decent angle here to get on the other reds. Yeah. Now, normally I would drop this in off two cushions, play for one of those reds. I think I must do that here. I had a feeling I might stun that in for mm. the red into the middle, but that's Ooh. gone wrong. Wow. That's, so. that, that will go. I think that will go. Right, does he go for the top? Yeah. It would be easy yeah. to see. Just rolling it down the cushion, you know. I, I've yeah. said this quite a few times. Shots down the cushion aren't too bad on this game if you yeah. just drop them in. This along the cushion. So. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, the pocket often catches him. One of his strengths. Yeah. So it looks so. like you're running away with it, but but again, only four points ahead. Yeah. Frame isn't yours yet, and as we know, it isn't. it's very easy to take your eye off the ball. So under hit that one as as well. I'm I'm mm. just over hitting slash under hitting every shot. I've I've not felt comfortable at all in yeah. this break. Yeah. That red doesn't go next to the pink, so I'm thinking, oh, this is another tricky shot. Um yeah. you know, because in theory this should be with a rest for Mark Allen, but I don't think I think he just about reaches this, so mm. so I'm trying to see whether that that red can go at all. Uh, I'm thinking a couple of shots ahead here. Now, do a, you know, try and just, just wants to sink this. Uh, the get on the blue point. potentially. Well, just just under hit it a little bit. What? I'm yeah. thinking I'm more comfortable stunning from the blue and canning the pink than than trying to hold that for the black. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm in a bit of a pickle now of. Well, do I take the five points? Which we, you know, we've said this a lot in this tournament. Um, do people play the safety? Do they play the get the extra points? And and people have had different tactics. I certainly played the safety here. Thought I'm almost guaranteed the snooker, and well, if he misses it, it's going to be a free ball. Be. So just played yeah, the snooker. It's yeah, it's a no-brainer that one. It's just sitting right for you. Well, he's and you played it well. Let's see yeah. He so he's got a couple of options. He ain't and smack it with loads of left-hand side on, on the top cushion, but he's almost guaranteed to leave it that way. So yeah, I'd, I'd probably try two cushions here. I don't know about you, Chinny. I think I would I, I think I would go down down and up. Um, okay. And, yeah. and with, a, with a tad of left, um, just so I can skim it and get the white back up. But... It's not an easy shot. Um, you might... I don't know if the white's over enough, but you might be just over enough not to put any side on it. Um, yeah, it's... the black's almost in the way of that shot, I think. Uh, just the, the right. plain ball up and down. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know. Man, obviously, I no. didn't see it from that point. He's trying it with left-hand side, but he hit it too soft. Yeah. The left. You've got to hit it a bit harder if you want the side to take. So yeah, the left just disappeared um, on that one. So so free ball here. Yeah, you like um, a three ball, a free ball. I think uh, if I know you, so Joe, as I do, <laughs> I do like a free ball, but I'm also thinking I've got him in a bit of trouble here, and I, <laughs> yeah. I quite quite liked the way he played that shot. I thought yeah. mm, I've got a bit of a chance here of yeah. racking up some points. So. Yeah. Because like I'm thinking, if he's playing it one cushion with with side, he's yeah. almost guaranteed to leave this on. So yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at a two cushion option now. Um, <sighs> I'm it's, thinking, it's so you know, maybe swerve it a bit past the yellow, try and hit just under the middle pocket, and and try and come off two cushions and hit it that way. Mm. But he's he's going for it again here. I don't think he's hit this hard enough. Oh dear. 
That is tricky. Not what he intended. This time it's not free ball, sure so back it goes. Straight, straight oh, back, straight yeah. back, straight back. Well, there, so the with the handy eight points though, if nothing else. So. Oh yeah, seventeen points to lead now. It's a big difference. I'm thinking, at this stage. I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking at this point, if he leaves the red on, I need red, black, and and yellow to win the frame. So, mm. um, you know. I'm just expecting him to smack it now. Just in frustration, just forget it. <laughs> You've got it in his head, Joe. Let's see what he does. <clears throat> Pace is very important here. And he doesn't want to... So he's gone for it. There you go. Well, he's, he's played it really well. That's and... really good. You know, uh, to not leave the red on there is is quite That's impressive. Really so escape. yeah, I'm result. thinking. Well, f f do I play the double? Or, but, no, no, just I, you just probably need to put it down by the black. Oh. Yeah, but I just just didn't hit that as as well as I hoped. So no, might have left this on, but I can't I can't quite tell. No, it's, I, I don't know. I think you've probably covered that one. It's a shame we don't have Nevitz's view here, but yeah. Um, I think you might have covered that. You know, I had a quite. I mean, that was a big target to get behind the the yellow, pink, brown, and green. Yeah. I'm a bit disappointed I didn't yeah. didn't get that. But... Asking for it, yeah. <sighs> so he's having to think. Just the one. No, he's gone for a swerve and he's potted it. That's an absolutely there. cracking shot, isn't it? And yeah. Ooh, I wonder got... where I'm ended up here. <laughs> got a couple of uh, options here, but I think. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to play up to the black. And, I mean, uh, you, you know, he had the option of drilling the black into the, the green pocket and just yeah. running through for the, the yellow. But me here, I, I would play the same shot and just roll behind the black because mm. you're not likely going to get onto the green even if you pot the yellow. So No. Yeah, yeah good shot well. from, from Nevitz there. So I, I'm thinking, well, how the tables have turned <laughs> yeah. in, in two shots and... Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I'm... that looks a little high to me from yeah, here, Joe. It, it looks high to me as well. I, you know, too much uh, I think that's got going it. pink or above. Yeah, there you go. Almost got it on Oof. the return, so that's really unfortunate. But but I've, yeah. I've left him on chance here. Yeah, it's a big chance. I think it's so tough It'll to get on the the shot, green from here. You'd have to play it in the middle oh, bag, this. maybe. Jack yeah, I'd, I'd, I think I'd put you back. But I can't Not speak. Really yep, there he goes. And he's put his put you back. Can't speak for Nevitz. No, I can't speak for Nevitz, but he has put you back. That looks better. Pace is the key with this shot. But the camera angle never shows you <laughs> the result. And you've missed it again. A little bit too low now. And now he, he really left him. He's like, come on. That's Don't put me control. back. Please take the yellow. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm thinking here, you you know, you've got a chance to yeah to win the frame, but he, he, he I think I would put it, it back again. though. It's so yeah. tempting. I've sort of learned the angle now, though, so yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd be disappointed to miss it again here. Under hit it a little bit, but there you go. But unfortunately, and, uh, but then you know, it's one of those horrible cutback shots. That... Yeah, in in real snooker, this. This isn't too big of a deal. I mean, yeah. it's quite close to the pocket. Yeah, it is a thin cut, but in Snooker 19, these are so difficult. These are probably easier to judge with no aiming line than it is with an aiming line. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's, but but it's a natural to get onto the green if you you know play it yeah. at the right pace. So mm -hmm. you just got to focus fully on the pot here. This is a real opportunity, and he's got it heart of the he's pocket. Played it well, but he's just. Mm. Under hit it loose. a lot. Yeah. More control, yeah, I think so. he was worried about hitting it too hard and snooker himself, maybe. But a sigh of relief for me, yeah, because I always think that was curtains. But you can put you in some danger here. Mm. It's a tense. Uh... It's a tense end into this frame. If he comes thin off this green, he could land us behind the black. But he's he's just playing the reasonably yeah, straightforward snooker. But I think yeah. he's. Uh... Overhit it. Oh, you've got a double on here. Uh, possibly. You know, I do like a double, but 
it's almost a guaranteed frame loss if I miss that. But yeah. Again, I've I've got to play this well. I've got to hit the the sweet spot with this because this could go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. This is a power bar. Very easily. Pressure on the power bar here. Yeah. And uh, you did hit it a little bit hard, but you, you've got away with it. But but the the green's gone it's over the pocket. Over and... the pocket. Wow. The Obviously, uh, <sighs> I've uh, I've not. I, I've I've got these clips sent from me from the players themselves. You sent me this clip, and and uh, I've never I I didn't really really realize when I like got it through that this would be so close. I don't know. I I just thought you'd sail through it, but man, I think just yeah, it's the the tension, isn't it? So yeah. you know. Um... And, you know, a couple of rolls here or there and could have been a lot uh, easier, but go. he's knocked in a cracking green there. He's, and... he's potting well, Nevitz, but he just just fails. You know, the yellow was a great shot. The green was a great shot. He just <sighs> failing on the on his ball control. Cute ball, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I would have been playing that a lot harder and giving myself more of a chance, but it's, this is a horrible shot to be faced with and, you know... Would you put this in, Chinny? No, I don't think I would. Um, maybe if I was messing around and it was just a quick, friendly yeah. sort of thing, I'd have a go. But I, I'm with you. I'd be, I'd be trying to stun this behind the pink, probably yeah. the, the cue ball. And yeah, this one's a, a tricky shot. I think I'd take advantage of Snooker 19's oh, kind of here. generous side. He has took it on though. And he's missed wow, it. I mean, he's gone safe. I think. It looks decent. Oh, you might have an angle on that to, to pot it. It's a toughie. Yeah. Mm, I think it's you fancy one. that, though, Joe. No, oh, you know me. <laughs> you know me. I'm coming around looking at the pot and <laughs> angle. Have a look. And, uh, yeah, I'm just sort of steadying myself here. I'm thinking, mm. let's play it with plenty of top it's and no yeah, miss that know, give myself top, a yeah. chance. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was it. It was yeah. close though. It wobbled in. Yeah. But... Uh, you've landed beautifully on the blue. Yeah. Just you're even slightly off, so it just helps when you got a screw back. Yeah, so it just means you. there's no chance of going in off. Yeah. So. That's good. Perfect. Well. So just this pink, and it's one nil. Yeah. Just this pink now. I think. Uh, I think Nevis's downfall really was just his cue ball control and that and the and the brown like going for yeah. that brown I just think was a little bit too crazy uh, too ambitious for yeah I, I think so um you know I think I think probably Nevis played a little bit better than us in that frame but maybe he did. Um, I just I, I think I played the right shots at the I right know. time I think that was the yeah, the difference in that frame and nice little twenty-two clearance there. Yeah, lovely black at the Take end. The there. lead. So mm -hmm. it is one nil to Mark Allen. Uh, Mark Allen being played by our very own Captain Goodspeed, and uh, time for the second frame of the match, Joe. And uh, well, let's see if you can clinch this one. Uh, with a with a two nil, is it going to take it to three frames? We'll have a look. Mm -hmm. Now, just for a bit of context, there was about an hour between frame one and frame two. Oh, was there uh, really? Yeah, because we were we were waiting for uh, the the tournament admins to get back to us on on what to do about Nevitz losing the recording. So yeah, um, so it, it wasn't ideal. <laughs> well, I, 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 um, the same happened for my match, uh, the first frame. Uh, Halborn's recording didn't start, um, but we just carried on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I just, I, well, certainly after winning the first frame, I didn't fancy, yeah, um, yeah. doing it wrong and having to replay it. So no, I, I, I was very insistent <laughs> yeah. that we, that we try to get through, but not the best break off, but kind of no. the, the the whole rhythm and and all of the the pressures off now because uh, I've just sort of went past it but yeah oh, and you wow. can see probably for Nevitz as well he's missed the, the power bar there and yeah he's, uh, so again really I, we great. have talked about it quite a bit but the, the reason oh, why Nevitz oh, misses Alan. that is oh. not because he didn't aim correctly he aimed at the red he knows how to hit the red but 
the pale bar on the left. Oh, if you get the timing here. wrong, you will he's put his go off again. off uh, off to the left or to the right, and uh, and that's what he's done there. So Joe, Captain Goodspeed, has put him back. Yeah, I was sort of tempted of taking it on into the left corner, but I thought, well, yeah, if he um, if he messes this up again, then he's going to be warned and <laughs> you know could concede mm. the frame. But he's got away with it there. He's yeah. Very lucky. Yeah, he um, hit the jaw of the pocket, which he didn't plan to do, but uh, I don't think he's going to be too fussed about that one. Tricky shot here, always to going to be close to the green. Uh, that did look a little high to me, Joe, so I'm quite relieved that you've just moved that down. Yeah, um, but it's just the, the pace is completely off, which makes very little sense to me, because if really when you're behind the green playing into the pack, that's the miss, probably the right percentage. So was... Yeah, that's true. I, maybe it loses quite a bit. Yeah, from I don't know, but I, I, I just yeah, I was a bit confused by that one, but I'm I'm sure he's just going to put me back here, so yeah, um, well, yeah, you know, so, so I'll get a second go at it. It's, it's not that difficult a shot, and no, you, know, even you had the right line this, as well. Yeah, even if I miss it this time, I'm I'm going to get it the well, next time. So really that looks good to me. I was quite happy with that. Yeah, very good. I'm hoping they leave a touch and ball, actually, because I really don't want to get into a, a tippy-tappy Tippy tappy match, yeah. But they do happen, the tippy-tappy matches. Yeah. Like, you know, as soon as I get an opportunity, I'm going to play back to ball. I just mm. do not... You know, also for, for you guys at home watching on the WST channel, I don't want you just watching Tippy Tap for 10 minutes. So, mm. you know, I, I like it's to play my part in hitting this. getting rid of this nonsense and, you know, straight away. I've got no interest in the, the Tippy Tap here. So, <laughs> you're um, just to get out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, I'm thinking if I can come thin off this red, even if I go in off, at least the frame's going back to normal. But there you go, I missed the power bar, so mm. you can guess what happened. <laughs> Is that a foul? Did you miss the red completely? I, yeah, I don't think I'd made contact, so... Ah. So I've missed the power bar, yeah, but uh, no nevets, you know what's probably going to happen here, so... Is he going to put us back? Uh -oh. I'd have, I'd, oh, he might make me play from here, I'd actually. have played, yeah, make you play from there. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah he's making me play from here, so... Yeah, that is the. I'd say that's the right choice. So again, tricky shot. Hit the power bar. Sweet as a nut there. Mark Allen looks pleased. But look at this. What a shot. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Uh, you know, I, I didn't play that at all, but, you know, yeah. I, was, I was trying to get the cue ball behind the yellow, but just hit it a bit too hard. And, yeah. Um. It's ended up behind the Browns. So we've got second prize there. And... Yeah, lovely. I think, I don't know, I'd be tempted to... I'd have a look really at the swerve here, but the shot is probably two here. cushions. Yeah, Doesn't like he, he's this. doing. It's just a bit narrow, in it? Yeah. So, yeah, um... I did. yeah, it's just so tricky to get that. But So, thought process here. That's not a good I'm 1-0 up. I've got a chance to win the match here. If I can pop oh, this no. red along the cushion. Oh, I thought... I, I, my first instinct was force retake. Yeah, but I I, I then look at that oh, red. Yeah, you think, have a look. Well, he's playing I think on, I can yeah. go for this. I can drop this in, get half ball on the black, smack into them reds, give myself every chance to to try and take the match. Yeah, so, but this isn't easy. No, not at all. Oh, and, uh, and you just, just missed a power bar there. A little bit too thick. That could cost him. But, was that a power bar issue? Do you think? I, well, it was slightly lower. I don't know whether it was. It was, it was probably misaligned as well. But mm. um, you know, covered it with the black, so I'm not not too bothered. But no, but now you've got a red over the pocket. Him. That's the just makes safety a lot of, a lot more difficult. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I would have to do a cheeky roll up to the left side of the pack here, so you don't see pretty much exactly what he's done yeah so you'll, you'll see me have a look at a couple of different shots here oh are you doing that? okay yeah i'm thinking well, the black's a bit in the way on that side it is yeah. how about this <laughs> blues in the way <laughs> i don't know that's mm. 
That's close. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. But then I thought, you know what? I'm not the one that has to take risks. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Don't so take the risk. Just, let's just roll it in. And then at this point, I've just got massive conflict in my mind of, do, does it sit well with me to put a 15-minute tippy-tappy battle on, on the internet? <laughs> so... Yeah, they are a little annoying. Um, but, you know, you, you do what you do to to win. I, I think I certainly played a few tippy-tappy shots and didn't really think about you know, like... The entertainment people... value. No, I, I, it was very much like yeah. You know, and I think, without giving away too much, but I think one of my um, like uh, mistakes in one of the frames that I made was because I was trying. I I, I decided not to do a tippy tap shot, so that was something that uh, that punished me a little bit in one of the frames. Um, I'm looking again at the the possibility of uh, you're looking all over the place here of knocking that red in. No. It's gone for it. Uh, even lighter. They don't last too long though on on Snooker Nineteen before somebody eventually makes a mistake. Yeah, I mean, eventually you'd uh, you'd imagine a red will be available into the middle or yeah, or the corner, and or or at least a chance to play back down the table. And you know, as long as you get it near the yellow pocket, you're probably not going to leave that red on. And even if you do, it's not the end of the world, because the reds are pretty tightly packed, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Looks so like Nevitz is also having a look around, and he has tapped it away. Is that a touching ball there? Is he... I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't see touching ball in the corner there. No. I don't, but, I don't um... quite know what red he hit there, but... Uh, yeah, well, after yeah. I called... You're, you're desperate to Regan. get that red in. Yeah, and I think I've decided this time. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm just going to go for it. You're going to have a go. I'm going to try and hit this as hard as I can. That looks a little thin to me, but hey, let's see how he does. It is oh. a little thin. <sighs> that, that still hurts. <laughs> That's a wounder. But, um, you know, I'm not too bothered. I mean, if I was never to you, I'd be whacking oh, this man. red plenty yeah. of top. Mm -hmm. And try and get into those reds, uh, yeah, the, the, the cluster. But I agree. You know uh, the way he's played so far. I'm not not sure he's going to play that shot. So um, it is a tricky shot with where the red is. Um, you could miss the pack pretty easily here, but you could uh, you could play cushion first, and yeah. you know. But he's, he's just made sure of the red, and yeah, I don't blame him. You know, no. get the get the eight points on the board or whatever you're going to get. So. Yeah, yeah. So, it doesn't, he hasn't really left him with a colour that is going to get him anywhere. We know what a so prolific what long he potter he is, so Gets I'd assume he'd take this on. Hits it nice, but it's going to be another safety battle. You believe it? Six. Indeed it is, so he's only ten points in front and Again, it's it's getting net tense and cagey in this match, and you know it's it's been a bit of a feature of the whole tournament so far. It's it's been a very cagey affair in this first round. So mm -hmm. I'm sure as the the tournament goes on, the the standard will increase. Yeah. So, yeah. So he's um he's played that and he. He sort of left that red on the edge of the cluster now. Jack Lazowski. It'll be a big risk. And Massive I'm not risk. even interested in it, so, which no. is unlike me, but, you know, it yeah. just shows what's at stake. So, you know, it's a fairly simple safety shot. I might have had a look at that, but. Um... <laughs> it's just, if you miss it, you've, you're leaving the frame on, on, on it, a plate, yeah. aren't you? So, That's, all of that, yeah. That's a good shot, know, though. Nevitz has only really made two big mistakes in this match so mm -hmm. far, so I'm I'm still wary that he can knock in a forty fifty break and put big pressure on us. But yeah. yeah, I'm happy with that safety. It's forcing him to play a good shot here. Uh, 
Would you be playing thin off the right hand side of the bunch here? I don't know what I'd be doing here. Panicking probably. Uh <laughs> yeah, I'd probably yeah, play it thin off the right hand side. As we're looking at the pack, the right of the pack. Mm-hmm. The left of the pack. You would just disturb too many reds. Uh, there's the shot, but he's he has hit it thick, which makes me think that he missed the power bar. You got a shot in the middle here. That's a poor shot, really. But yeah, shot in the middle or play a shot to nothing on this one. Yeah, yeah. None of which are easy. So. No, I wouldn't fancy this at all. I'd probably have a look at the middle for me, well, but taking it on to the left um, It looks like you're tempted by this one. I just quite fancy the cue ball coming back up. But yeah, yeah, as you say, I've I've missed that, and uh, there you go. I've left well, us. this is Nevitz's well, first chance of the frame, and uh, but again, black out of commission, pink out of commission. It's not not going to be straightforward. No, is it? so... it's going to be a lot of long pots to get to make this break work. He really needs to go into the pack pretty early here. So he's he's played it with some pace, which I think is the correct thing to do. He's got a good angle on this blue to make something of it. I'd be tempted. I'd be really, really tempted to go into the pack here. My only worry is that there's possibly a four-ball plant into the left corner pocket if you go in off the blue. But yeah, I see it, yeah. I don't know... If it'll necessarily go in, but that that would be my only worry of, of no, playing the blue here. Yeah. And I think Nevitt will just play the green anyway, which yeah. he does. So, and he's uh, let this go a bit loose. Oh dear. Four. I think that would have been a make or break moment for myself. I think I would have gone for the blue, got into the pack, and just <laughs> gone for it. But I just think with the yeah. green, you're just not gonna get. You're not going to solve you're not the big get problems. The pace into the pack, are you? And, no. and you know, you, you're never going to free the pink or the black with the, with that shot. Um, That's the thing. I, I mean, he, he can look at it. He's 14 points in front. He can probably pot six reds, six blues, and get a decent lead. But yeah, I, I I'm with you. I'd be wanting to get pink and black into play. But he's very lucky to be on that red. And yeah. I remember thinking that was very jammy. <laughs> So you need it though sometimes. Snooker you just definitely, just, you definitely need it. Yeah, snooker well, is, you know. is mostly skill, like it is in real life. But also in real life, you just need the run, and mm. you just need the 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 look of the ball sometimes, and that happens in Snooker Nineteen. Yeah, quite a lot. I don't. So, I, I, but... for, for he for me, I, I think I'd just play this loose red on the left and get it out uh, of the way. Oh, he's, um, he's, on, he's on the blue, blue, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, like I would play for the red. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, but I mean, you no, could. I, think, I, I agree. I think if you if you leave yourself a decent angle on that red, screw off the the pack, and it should free the pink, and it might even free the black. So, mm. you know, um, I mean, the other option is trying to deep screw from the blue into the pack, but yeah, it's a very ambitious shot. Stuff to, to chance there, so. Try and knock the blue in. Well, he's looking at potting mm. this into the right corner pocket. Yep, he's just stunned it in. Great shot. Great shot. Probably queuing. playing this red on the left. Ten. Yeah. Is that the one you were talking about? Yeah. Jenny, yeah. yeah. I was thinking the one just just above the... Uh, the two reds on the le on the pack there. Yeah. yeah. I thought yeah. I see what you mean, yeah. I just quite fancy screwing off those reds and... Opening everything up, but mm -hmm. he must be going for that red. But it's again, he's aiming for the left. It's corner, tough yeah? to get position from here, so no yeah, there. He's, relying on, cue ball about. Well he's relying on a lot of screw back, but he's played that so well there. Yeah. Uh, it's just, unfortunately, it's not a little <coughs> harder, but he's got a red. Mm -hmm. If he just pr brings the white back to where it is now, he's yeah. got another red. Totally agree, and and you know it's a chance to, um, it's a chance to bring reds into play if you if you're on that. Definitely, so, definitely. You know, at this point, I'm thinking, you know, I've got one more chance here. If if he pots the blue, 
Oh, and he's done exactly that, and he's got a bit straight on the red. Yes. It's not easy to get onto the colour here. No. And he could go in off, to be honest, if it's straight enough, so... Yeah. I, I just think that... A, a little tentative, that shot. A bit worried of, of under-hitting it, I think, there. And he's just overcompensated and... Yeah. You know, which we can all well, do. And, and you, you've seen me do it. <laughs> so many times, but he's uh, he's knocked in a really nice red there, and yeah, played it well for the blue. Seventeen got the cheap blue, as you call it, cheap so. blue. But you know, yeah. it's just the way it is. But where's the next red coming from? I don't know. Red in the middle of the cluster is what I'm looking at. Tough to get onto it though. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what I'd do here. I think Snooker nineteen has a you can do a lot of. Uh, there's a there's a lot of leeway on the side, so you could put like bottom right on this well, white I'm ball here. And you could potentially get into the pack, but no, he's missed it by a mile. No, which not this time. has he fluked it though? No, Oof. it leads me to think that he missed the power bar there. There's no way yeah. he missed it that yeah. much. Unless he was just concentrating completely on position. But yeah. this is the red I was talking about before. Ah, um, this red here, yeah. yeah. So. No, yeah, yeah, you're, you're hitting I, I this with pace. This the right you know me, Chinny, I like to get the, the reds into play. I've got oh. two in there, which I'm a bit disappointed about. Where's the oh. cue ball going? Oh, no. Disaster. Uh, I just think that's incredibly unlucky. Um, so, wow. Wow. There's a, the, there's a shocking four. shot coming up soon, and I, 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 don't, I don't want to see it again. <laughs> you can look um, away, Joe, and then I'll, I'll have a look at it. <laughs> Um, I don't really know what I was thinking, but yeah. and I mean it's not coming for another shot or so yet. But um, so this you is know. you again. That's a cracking shot, and it's I'm almost. Thinking, can this just slip past the yellow? Ooh. And it just doesn't. But if that slips past the yellow, he's in big trouble. He's in big trouble with the blue uh, there and the black where it is. Yeah, he would have been in, in trouble. So the only thing I'm thinking here, if he plays off the right-hand side, he's got to be a bit careful of that black. If he hits it too thick, he's he's going to hit that black. But um should be okay as long as he hits the power bar. Yeah. So, yeah, played it well. So... Yeah, I think this. I think this might be the shot now. So this is your embarrassing shot. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm thinking here yeah. is hit this as thin as I can. Yeah. So if yeah. if the white hits where that the line is hitting there, uh -huh. it'll hopefully sort of bounce off the bottom cushion and go up towards the other side. But it just uh... doesn't work like that, and it busts the reds open. And I'm thinking, well, I'm already thirty odd behind here. This is uh... this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad, man. I mean, you're a great player, Joe, but that was bad. Yeah, I like, think I think the the intention was correct. I yeah. just just misjudged the power. I oh think, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like we all can do, but the alternative to that was hitting the pack thick and probably splitting the reds, similar to what they are anyway. Correct. So yeah, you know, it was worth a go, but left him a. Not the easiest opener. This no. red in, in, into the green pocket, but I'd expect him to get it. So. Yeah, I. This is not an easy red at all. It's kind of what we were saying before. When you're playing it from this side, it's it, this side of straight. It's this won't be easy. a lot harder on this game for some reason. Yeah. Missed pot. And there he goes. He's rattled it. So he's missed that red and. Could have left us something a bit easier, but oh, look at that! You know, a nice little Lovely. gap. Lovely natural angle yeah, on the so black. Pop into the right corner. Not a lot of work here to get this going. Lovely. Excellent. It's a it's a strange match this one because not a lot of pots have been missed. But no, we we just seem to every now and then have a. A bit of a dodgy. Uh, I'm looking at the plant there. That was yeah. Uh, it could be made, ambitious. but I don't think I would. Uh, <laughs> I would risk it at this point. Probably if it was the last two reds and I've got the frame. But now you've just made sure of it. 
And uh, I think you're trying to play that red down the rail, but you've mishit it by a mile. Well, I was trying to play for this red into the, the middle ah. pocket. Um, I just just mishit it a bit. I, I think I was, I'm in a mess now because I'm thinking, oh, Christ, I, I, he's not going to miss another one. So I've got to make the most of this. So. This looks just thinking, like, go on, Chinny. Uh, this looks a little thick to me, but I don't know if it's just... Oh, no, you've hit it very well. Very well. So I'm thinking that ah, this is this is exactly the sort of chance I wanted really. Yeah. Plenty of plenty of reds uh, yeah. in play and, and just You got four reds here. This is frame winning chance. Just uh, drop dropping these in and you know. Yeah, very I'm down, I'm, in the back of my mind I'm thinking about those two reds on the bottom cushion, but um Do you need them? I will do at this point. I'm still 16 behind, so oh. four reds, four colours only gets me. So about I can't do the math as quick as you. So I just, I just. Well, four them. reds, four blacks is 32. So um... again, you know, maths for me. <laughs> do, yeah. I don't know if it's me being dyslexic or just laziness. Uh, yeah. But it's just practice, I suppose, <laughs> isn't it? But uh, like anything else, but yeah. um, you know. I had a slight thing about bringing the reds yeah. into play here. But, I thought you uh, was going to there, but you just play well for the two. No, I, I just thought, you know, get, get back into the frame. Because if that goes yeah. wrong, then... You're stuck down there with nothing. Yeah. 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 So just, you know, just keep potting these reds. Get yeah. a get a bit of a lead in this frame. and This is nice because you had, you had the pink could go there. You've rolled a little too far forward, but it's there's not a massive danger. You've also got... I'm guessing you're going to try and play for the red by the pink here, but you've got the other red at the top as a bit of a backup if it doesn't go yeah. right. Really nice laid out yeah, yeah, table exactly there. You've got so. Perfect. Look at that. Yeah. And I think I would go for this red by the pink because it's a little bit trickier to get onto again. So. Yeah, yeah. I think it's easier to snooker yourself on this. So just drop this in. I'm thinking now, give myself two chances to bring those two reds into play. If I get the angle here, I'll play it. But if mm. not, I'll just go up for that that red and, and i've just overhit it a bit so yeah. i'll actually play the pink here um yeah just to make sure of it and you know level pegging now so yeah the, the, um, those two reds at the bottom rather right? there is a they are <clears throat> plant a bull if that's a word oh oh wow <laughs> wow <laughs> jesus joe yeah that pink uh wow. wobbled a bit I have you know what I've played so much of this game and I've never seen the the ball the object ball wobble and <laughs> hover over the bag wobble so and roll around the cup like that, yeah but, I've you know. I've seen it in real life many a time but not on Snooker nineteen um, I'm thinking that you know and but now I'm I'm sort of depressed because I've yes. uh, I've overhit that or yeah. underhit it whichever way you look at it it's and, a shame uh, really. you've just you've just gone right into no man's land there and there's not. A lot of value in playing this pink because I'm not going to get onto the the two reds. So I'm actually uh, you're looking at a thinking, safety here. I think I'm thinking play off ball off that yellow, get the cue yeah. ball behind the brown, and and you know yeah. if I don't get the snooker, it's a tough safety shot. So yeah, I think I agree. I think you've played the right yeah. shot here. I've Let's got see. right back into the frame. I've in fact got a seven point lead and. The way that yellow's come back up, it That's makes cracking. this shot very difficult. Cause very good shot. Yeah. The yellow's covering the one cushion escape. The middle right. pocket's in the way mm -hmm. on the right hand side. So black and pink are in the way. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm in a good position. The green has hampered like the second, the, the two cushions yeah. out on the right there. So you, yeah. you really have to make this. this yeah, angle. he's going to have to probably play. A, oh, a man. Three Joe, I'm looking at it now. That's, that's brutal. Yeah, uh, you know yeah. what? I know, I know. It's it's all about where that yellow stopped. If that yellow stops a, a couple of inches beforehand, be aware it's an easy one cushion escape. But yeah. he's trying the one cushion, which I, it's... I didn't agree with it. It no, was miles off. I'd be off more he's... tempted to swerve around the brown. Um, he's left the free ball here, and yeah. you know me, Chinny. I, you love a free ball, Jim. I do That's love a free ball. ball. You love it. And you've a got a potential to get hot, nice on the black here to go in those Exactly. Rings. That's what I'm oh, thinking here. Just drop this pink in. And even if I don't get on the black properly, it's eight well, more points in the, the bag, option, which yeah. at this stage oh, is, is pretty good. So yeah. um, I'm just surprised. trying to drop I'm this in. not surprised you got for the free ball there. Nice. 
Oh, and you've landed on that black very well. One. Yeah, I thought the same, Chinny, but it's a bit straight. Oh, it is a bit straight. So... Again, what people don't realise is Snooker 19, the side can be so generous here. So <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for a bit of magic <laughs> side here, but... It... By the tone of your voice, misses. it didn't say no. Yeah. <laughs> you've uh, massively uh, yeah. overestimated that one, but yeah, yeah. Oh, that's tricky. Yeah, so but you know, I'm I'm thinking I've got eight points in the bag here, so yeah. it could be worse. Um, yeah, I was gonna say that side you'd hit the black, but yeah, yeah if, I was so it's just sort of weighing it up, and yeah, um. I well, I'm think. happy with that safety shot because that's good. Um, never Tasta now Eight. probably bring one of those reds into play, if not both of them. So, yeah, 19 points the lead now, so it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, that stops an inch the, the the way from the pink. If that stops an inch higher on the black and bring the reds into play but Oof. he's made a mess of that wow i don't wow. remember that at all chitty so oh really um yeah i don't remember that shot but he's got away with it so he has but I, 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 for me I, I love a swerve me and uh i think i would have been tempted to take that swerve on but I'm thinking 19 points in front. I've just got to go for this now. I've got a chance to win the match. Mm. Let's try and knock this in. What and in it there. goes. Lovely shot there by yourself. So, just about landing onto this yellow. Just try and drop this yellow in, leave the red to the right corner, and you've won the match. That's all I'm thinking here. Yeah. So... You're not tempted to go for the black or the blue here, or just mm, not really. I no. don't fancy trying to snooker myself on the uh, yeah. on the red, so I'm just I'm just thinking, drop yeah. this yellow in. Oh, don't it drop! So, oh man, I wouldn't I'm, have fancied I, that yellow you know, at all. I, admittedly, I took my eye off that yellow. I yeah. was just thinking, yeah. I, I just sort of vaguely lined it up and got the power ready and, and mm -hmm. just thought yeah let's go for this and you know took my eye off it a bit and because i'm real. thinking at this point i've done it <laughs> yeah and, and you know I, I'm, I'm a bit relieved i'm thinking just don't snooker yourself on the red give yourself a shot on it and, that's it uh, that's it it's really mucked it up so mucked it up another chance here that's for nevitz hit that well it's not too damaging One. and uh Wow, he can he can really win the frame here. Yeah, they're all there, and I'm I'm thinking is am am I gonna get a better chance to to get through in the world championship? And you know I've already rode me luck a bit. I feel like Nevitz has has been very unlucky not to win this match at this point. Yeah, so yeah, definitely. Um, you know I'm thinking ah, I've mucked it up now. Just drop this yellow in, play for the green into the yellow pocket. Is is what I would play. A great opportunity. Uh, yeah, and no, I'm just yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's Plays, I, I just couldn't have played that shot at that pace. No. And he's left himself exactly the same shot he had on the brown in the last frame. Yeah, and and judging by what happened with the brown, I'm not confident that he's going to get this green. Um, but maybe he doesn't go for it. He's got an easy safety shot. You know, yeah. Just play thin off the green into the brown and white behind blue, mm. pink, and black. And 10 points so behind if he misses this. The right corner. He's going green for and brown. it. Oh. He's missed it. Exactly the same as the brown. Yeah. Has he got away with it? Oh, no. Well, not no, quite, but that's... it's not a nice shot. <laughs> no, it's not. But look, you, you moved the cue so quick there. You are ready to pounce. I can just yeah. tell that you are yeah. you're just hungry to get this ball down. I think you're gonna go for all this. He's aiming for the. I'll let you take yeah. over, Chinny. Wow, there it is. Look at that. Well, he lost control of the cue. He's uh, got the green, but oh no! Oh, that's very green. close. Very <laughs> close to to getting snookered. 
And uh, wow, this is another tricky brown under pressure. What do you need to win here? Is it blue? Brown and blue, yeah. Yeah. High pressure shot coming up. So again, this power bar, it's so thin and he hits it, nails it and drops it in. What a fantastic shot. Just the blue. Seven. A tricky blue again. It's on the side that you don't like, Joe. Yeah. Um, it's very difficult to tell. It's not, it's, not, it's not on its spot, so it's not as straight as it usually should be. It's not in the same so place as it usually as is. Required. And he's hit it sweet and right in the back of the pocket. A lovely shot. Uh, honestly, the live comment to this, some of my best commentary ever, most excited commentary. Because I'm still live commenting at this point, and it's, yeah. yeah um, <laughs> what are you saying at this point, Joe? I'm just like, right, let's just, in or over on the pink, but it's right in the heart of the pocket. Look there you go. That. Wow. And we're, we're through to the next round. I'm just in complete disbelief here. I'm sort of laughing at myself, because I'm like, I've just pulled out that green and brown from nowhere, wow. uh, you know, after Look at some that. of the shots have pulled Look out. But, that. yeah. Wow. I mean... <sighs> Well, it's crazy looking back on it now. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you know, I think the first frame was pretty much yours, but that second frame was so wobbly. Um, and I mean, and, well, and all fairness yeah, to I you, mean, you, you, you put some great balls at the end there, Joe. But you should have lost that frame about twice. Um, yeah, no, I agree. I think um, you know both frames. Uh, Nevitz got in and and got thirty forty points ahead and. Yeah, I'm quite happy that I just stuck in there and 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 ground away the the victory. I think overall, uh, the safety play towards the end and, and playing the right shot at the right time, I mm -hmm. think is is what got me through. Yeah, but, definitely, um, definitely. Well, congratulations, yeah, was, Joe. <laughs> you are through to the quarterfinals. The quarterfinals. So thank you very much, Joe, for joining me. Uh, no problem. My uh, pleasure. And then make sure uh, you watch Joe's version of that match on his channel. Uh, and hear him get very excited and panicked and whatnot. I can't wait to see that one myself, Joe. Uh, and yeah, uh, and make sure you uh, stick around for all the rest of the coverage of the Snooker 19 Virtual Bet Fred World Championship uh, Tournament. And I'm hopefully going to be covering every single match on this channel. So thank you once again. And uh, I'll catch you till next time.